Hey guys. So I wanted to encourage you. Old Faithful. Old Faithful is a magnificent geyser that's located in Yellowstone National Park in the state of Wyoming. Now, geysers are actually a rare geologic feature. There are only about a thousand of them in the world. And did you know that more than half of them, more than 500, are located in Yellowstone National Park? Now, for a geyser to form, there have to be three conditions. And the first is a volcanic heat source. The second is abundant groundwater. And the third are fissures, uh, cracks, and uh, open spaces in the rock through which when the water heats up to boiling, it can burst through and there you've got a geyser. Now, Old Faithful was named in 1870. Nathaniel P. Langford, one of those who named it, said this, it spouted at regular intervals nine times during our stay, the columns of boiling water being thrown from 90 to 125 feet at each discharge, which lasted from 15 to 20 minutes. We gave it the name of Old Faithful. So that's what makes Old Faithful faithful, the fact that it is always predictable. However, it cannot be said of God that he is always predictable. We see in scriptures that Jesus often did what many, even those close to him, did not predict nor expect, including the cross and the resurrection. So God may not always be predictable, but he is eminently faithful. We see throughout all of scripture that he is true to his word and true to those who place their trust in him. How is God faithful? First, he is faithful to love us. Isaiah 54 verse 10 says, Though the mountains be shaken and the hills be removed, yet my unfailing love for you will not be shaken, nor my covenant of peace be removed, says the Lord who has compassion on you. He said this to Israel, even though he had to judge her sins by sending her into captivity for 70 years. And he says this to us today, no matter the circumstances. So first, God is faithful to love us. Secondly, God is faithful to forgive us. First John 1 John 1.9 says, if we confess our sins, he is faithful and just to forgive us our sins and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. Whether we come to God for the first time admitting that we have sinned and believing that Christ paid for all of our sins, or whether we have served and followed God for years, God will be faithful and just to forgive us, always forgive us, if we confess our sins. Thirdly, he is faithful to sanctify us. First Thessalonians chapter 5 verses 23 to 24 say this, may God himself, the God of peace, sanctify you through and through. May your whole spirit, soul, and body be kept blameless at the coming of the Lord Jesus Christ. The one who calls you is faithful and he will do it. This is God's desire to sanctify us, to make us holy, body, soul, and spirit. He is the one, God is the one who sanctifies us, who corrects us, who purifies us, and who conforms us to the image of Jesus Christ. So first, he is faithful to love us. Second, he is faithful to forgive us. Third, he is faithful to sanctify us. And fourth, he is faithful to take us home and reward us. 2 Timothy chapter 2, verses 8 to 13 say this, Remember Jesus Christ, raised from the dead, descended from David. This is my gospel for which I am suffering, even to the point of being chained like a criminal. But God's word is not chained. Therefore, I endure everything 
for the sake of the elect, that they too may obtain the salvation that is in Christ Jesus with eternal glory. Here is a trustworthy saying, if we died with him, we will also live with him. If we endure, we will also reign with him. If we disown him, he will also disown us. If we are faithless, he will remain faithful, for he cannot disown himself. As long as we do not utterly disown Jesus Christ, even when our faith is at its weakest, if we endure to the end, if we just hang in there clinging to that little bit of faith that we have left, He will remain faithful to us and will take us home and reward us. Remember the victor's crown. 2 Timothy chapter 4, verse 8 says this, Now there is in store for me the crown of righteousness, which the Lord, the righteous judge, will award to me on that day, and not only to me, but also to all who have longed for his appearing. Remember, God is faithful to you, faithful to love you, faithful to forgive you, faithful to sanctify you, and faithful to take you home and reward you. God bless you.